Y'all, it's day 100. <laughs> it's day 100. <laughs> oh my goodness. Day 100, y'all. Huh. We have went through this entire book. Oh, I just can't stop with this. <laughs> Okay, I got to. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. One of my favorite songs for this year, I do believe. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, it is day 100. Confetti, confetti, confetti. <laughs> I told you yesterday, I was like, I want to get one of those confetti things and put, you know, do that on my life. And, um, <laughs> and I was like, but I guess the joke would be on me because then I'd be like, now I got to clean all this up. But I still think I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go buy one of those things. Y'all, 100 days to brave. <sighs> and we are on day 100. Can you believe it? Can you, can, can you believe it? Oh my goodness. And you know, it took a lot longer than 100 days to get through this book with y'all. Because, <laughs> you know, we skip weekends and all that stuff and things come up and life happens. So much life has happened while we have been in this book. While we have been reading scripture and, and just going over the word of God and reading these devotions and becoming braver day by day, little bit by little bit. So much life has happened, right? Man, I started this book last year, at the end of the year. Remember? I really can't remember exactly what month I started it in. Um, but we started this because I said, I want to walk right into 2021 brave, right? We wanted to be working on being brave right, right out of 2020 into 2021. And guys, we did. We did. We did it. So, just give yourselves a little hand clap this morning. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for hanging in there and doing all the things and being brave and getting up every day and doing the things, doing doing what you got to do. Um, you're brave. So, today's title is Let's All Be Brave. Let's all be brave. Zephaniah 317 says, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. Woo, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. With singing. Did you know the Lord sings over you? Oh, it's awesome, y'all. It's so awesome. So she says here, Annie, Annie F. Downs here, she says, if you follow me on social media or if you brush by me in a craft store, you know how much I love glitter and sparkly things, mainly confetti poppers. <laughs> I love them because they're happy and pretty and celebratory and, um, and awesome. They're awesome but also because they remind me why it's so important for me to be brave. Here's why. Because my courage affects other people the same way that my being near you with a confetti popper will make your life different and better and more amazing. Man, listen to what she says. Your courage affects other people. Your courage affects other people. And it's just like that confetti popper. When you pull that string off with courage and you celebrate with sparkles, other people will feel like they can get confetti all over the place too. They'll see you and be like, I want to do that, <laughs> right? I want to do that. Making brave choices in your life is going to change the world. <sighs> at least, at the least, it will change your world. But I dare not limit what you are going to do on this planet, friend. Your life is Jesus' reward for his suffering. Your brave yeses, your courageous no's, man, hanging on, letting go, going there, staying here, all of it, all of it. I hope you've already done it. 
I hope you've already taken that first step because I am sure, like I've rarely been so sure of anything before, that your people are waiting and your God is watching with expectancy for you to see where your map um, is going to take you. Oh, don't you know he's just standing there waiting? Like you're doing it, you're doing it. You're taking that step. You're going in the right direction, right? Man, and today I pray peace for you and joy and hope and courage, the deep, deep kind that changes the way you live. Oh, the kind that changes the way you live. Instead, hold your map in the hand of your father and let's all be brave. Let's all be brave, guys. I just cannot believe that we're at the end of this book already. Um, I say already. I feel like it's been a long time. But um, on, one, on one hand, I feel like it's been forever. On the other hand, it's like it's done already. Um, but man, let's all, let's all be brave because I we have Jesus with us, y'all. We have him walking with us hand in hand. I talked about this a little bit yesterday. But man, no matter what he's asking you to do, whether it's just to stay right where you are or if it's to move forward and um, do something different, step out of the box, whatever he's asking you to do, to be still in the moment or speak in the moment, whatever it is that you feel him just nudging you and, and pushing you and just wanting you to do, man, step out. And be brave, be courageous. Know that God is with you every step of the way. If he's pushing you towards that thing, he's, he's drawing you to himself, follow him. He will not lead you wrong. Just step out in faith, no matter how afraid you might feel or be or whatever, just, just do it. Just do the thing with God always. Man, he will never lead you. He will never lead you wrong. So her Be Brave Challenge for today, it says, I think you probably need to go buy a confetti popper. Remember, I've already talked about that. I want to do that. You need to go buy a confetti popper. Then take a picture of yourself shooting it into the air. Post the picture online and include the hashtag, hashtag 100 days to brave. Let's do that if we can. If you've, if you've been a part of this journey at all, at all, man, I say we get the confetti popper. I don't know where to find one of those things. Walmart, Dollar Tree, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try to find one today. <laughs> and we are going to, uh, we're going to shoot that thing. We're going to take a picture. We're going to post it and let everybody know that, hey, 100 Days to Brave is, is something really, really awesome. And you should be a part of it if you haven't been. And um, go out and get this book. I'm not going to go through it again, <laughs> start over it, but um, I do plan on doing, uh, finding something else to do. So, and I will be here tomorrow. That's my plan to be here, um, still doing another devotion tomorrow and Friday, but next week I am taking off the entire week for spring break. Um, so tomorrow I will be here. <laughs> I will be here y'all. So anyways, that's it for today, guys. That's it. That's it. Let's all be brave. Let's all be brave. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Um, that's Zephaniah 317. So y'all have a wonderful Wednesday. Oh, smile. Oh my goodness. Smile. <laughs> have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see y'all tomorrow on the EM Day Daily. Bye, guys.